Hey there. The other day, um, I got a request to um, explain how I um, converted my tractor to run um, off of a traditional car coil from the magneto that it um, was originally ran off of. And um, today, I guess I'm going to give a little demonstration of how I wired it to to use the coil off of uh, off of magneto. Um, there's going to be a little bit a little bit of explanation and some other things too. Um, on this tractor I converted it to 12 volt um, negative ground from the original 6 volt positive ground and um, I had the magnet or the um, generator converted to 12 volt and changed this to positive ground or negative ground. So um, I'm going to go into that a little bit too. So um, here we go. Okay, now um, just just to make note before I go over this, um, I just wanted to make note that um, that my tractor here I converted it to uh, 12 volt, and I took this uh, generator over to the Napa store, my local Napa store, and um, I had them change the, the field coils in it so that it would uh, so that I could use it to um, make it make the tractor look original and still have a 12 volt system. I, um, I'll go into the t why I'm doing a 12 volt system in a minute. Um, the 6 volt worked fine for me, but I just had to change it for my little project I'm going to be doing with it. But um, I did that, and then I also got this gener this um, voltage regulator, and it's, uh, of course the the print is upside down, but it's a 12 volt voltage regulator, and it's good for either positive or negative ground. Um, so in any case, there is that, and it's wired pretty much the same way, only is the 6 volt only that um, my little dial on the on my little gauge thing I don't have a high and low charge like it was set up for before with the 6 volt and um, it just I didn't need it so I left that part go so here's why I um, why I'm going to 12 volt with 12 volt um, I'm uh, trying to build a little three-point hitch deal for on the back and it's going to have a, a couple hydraulic cylinders operating it and I, I wanted to use this little hydraulic pump that's 12 volt so that right there was my reason for going to 12 volt okay so now um, now I'll move on to the um, explanation of this uh, magneto being converted uh, so the tractor will run off of a coil. So um, first, for one of the things here, you need to take off the um, this cover plate right here to get to the to the points. Now um, you need to be careful not to take this this little um, sheet metal plate off here with the two the two bolts holding it on because um, that right there is gear reducted two to one and um, and also it's with the teeth if you get it apart the timing will be off with that and it'll give you nothing but trouble um, there's two sets of timing marks on the gears because this um, this uh, I think it's an H4 Magneto it was designed to where um, it could be used in applications where it runs clockwise or counterclockwise. So um, there's two different timing marks on the, one of these gears in here. I think it's this stud that sticks out that the um, rotor goes on. But um, in any case, it's in your best interest not to take it apart. And also make note of which way the, the rotor is pointing because um, when you take this off, like I said, it's geared two to one if you turn this off a half a turn and stick it back on there uh, it's going to be sparking on the wrong wrong revolution of your engine so like I said make note of that before you pull it off but if you get this off of here it's got a round shaft with a flat on it so you're only going to be off one revolution at worst as long as you take it apart this way so I'll set that kind of out of the way now, um, as you can see, you got points in here, just like on a regular distributor on an old car. And um, 
there's two wires going to the leads on there and it's kind of hard uh, it's hard to see it but um there's there's two wires one is the um condenser and the other wire is um the wire that would normally go to the magneto but i disconnected that wire now i'll um I'm going to take this cover off here. I forgot to take it off and then I'll I'll get into that. So Okay, so um now I got this cover off of here and um I was uh I had I was mistaken. The um There was only ever one wire from uh from the points underneath this cover going over to the the condenser um, the other wire instead of being running down to that this uh, wire from the original coil inside the magneto connected onto the condenser at that point on this on the post um, this nut right here goes through the housing is insulated and screws onto the post of this condenser and um, I uh, put this, I disconnected this and put it out of the way. That's the only thing that really needs to be done inside the magneto. You don't need to get into the points unless you need to do maintenance on the points. So normally this wire right here under normal circumstances would be your kill wire. You know you'd have a have a switch connected to the other end of this wire that would um, ground the magneto out, or you could bolt. There was a little thing it could be bolted on here that would flex over and ground it out when you tried to, or you know, manually you could ground it out with that switch. But in any case, in place of that now, this uh, is just acting as a distributor, and um, the points are. The points in the condenser are connected up to this terminal right here that's insulated. And now this wire right here goes over, up and around, to uh, the negative terminal on my coil. Um, and, you know, remember this is uh, a, a negative ground system now. So it goes to the negative terminal on the coil. Now, on the positive terminal on the coil this uh, this is a new um, a new coil also and you can kind of see it's a 12 volt coil it says used with the ballast resistor number uh, 903 you uh, don't have to have you don't have to use one that has a ballast resistor I don't I just what I happen to have around for use on old vehicles and stuff so um, this one needs to have a resistor and that's what this white thing is. You can also buy these that does not need the ballast resistor and um, you can just hook your um, on off switch straight to this terminal if if it's not necessary. So in any case with for mine the positive terminal I hooked it on to the one end of the resistor and then um, the wire coming from my switch goes to the other terminal. And that's it for that. Now this wire runs all the way up to my uh, little toggle switch that I put on here for my run and stop. The other wire I ran down and I ran it over and I just connected it on to um, the, hot, the hot wire on the battery which is this right here was a nice spot to bolt it onto right on the on the starter. So that wire runs over or that wire runs over and goes to the hot terminal on the battery. For me it's positive being it's a negative ground system, but otherwise, you know, it'd be the negative terminal on the conventional uh positive ground system. So, you know, basically it's you know, the hot wire, the not the one that's not ground. So that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Um, just a little bit extra mess with the resistor, but otherwise 
that's the way it is for for mine. I uh, I got this, or I kind of saw the same setup on a on one that um, someone had at a tractor show, and I just kind of looked at it and thought, oh, hey, I can do that. So um, that's pretty much it. And um, you know, rather than uh, the wire that would have normally went on the cap, the magneto cap, I just you know just take it and plug it into your coil the center wire off of the distributor cap. So next I'll show um, show a shot of it uh, starting up easy. Okay, so now I got it all back together again, um, putting everything. So um, I'll show it uh, starting up again. and electric start. Uh, so there you have it. That's how um how I wired it for uh running off the coil from uh, the magneto. So hope that helps. And thanks.